Hello and welcome to this Forex preview at XM.com. I'm Maria Pachardis and joining me is Senior Investment Analyst Marios Hadjigiriagos. We'll be discussing the upcoming U.S. GDP data and the potential reaction in the dollar. So Marios, the U.S. economy is doing pretty well on a domestic level and the dollar's rally is not showing any signs of slowing down. We'll get the GDP estimate for Q1 on Thursday. What should we expect and how might the stats affect the euro dollar? Hello, Maria. Well, it's certainly going to be interesting. So it's the first look of uh, at GDP for the first quarter. Now, obviously, we all know that the war happened in the first quarter. So what kind of impact, early impact, did the war in Ukraine have on the U.S. economy? Now, the forecasts are for a dramatic slowdown in growth. So growth is, uh, was at 6.9% in annualized terms uh, in the last quarter of the year. And in the first quarter of this year, it's expected to be at just 1.1%. So a dramatic slowdown. Uh, and in fact, there are some signs that suggest we might uh, even get a disappointment. So the Atlanta Fed GDP Now model uh, is even more pessimistic than that. It's forecasting growth at just 0.4%, which is basically stagnation. Uh, and this is actually a very reliable model uh, throughout the year. So for me, a disappointment uh, in the official GDP numbers seems more likely than a positive surprise. Now, how could that affect euro dollar? It would argue for a relief bounce, but you know any relief bounces are likely to be very shallow. Uh, the trend is clearly to the downside. And in addition, the Fed will meet next week. What have markets priced in for this meeting, and how is it likely to impact the dollar going forward? Great. So. Uh, the short story is that the Fed has been fully priced in. Uh, the markets right now are pricing in 50 basis points rate increases at each of the next four policy meetings, including this one uh, next week. So market pricing has come a long way. The markets are saying the Fed is going to be at 2% interest rates by September. I think it's difficult for this pricing to get uh, much more aggressive. So I think we're near the peak uh, in terms of how hawkish the Fed can get. Obviously, that, that will ultimately depend on inflation and growth, how those play out. But you know, if the Fed goes any faster than this, than what has been priced in, there's, there's a real risk that something might break in the economy. It could be the stock market, it could be the housing market, but either way, they want to avoid that. They are aiming for a soft landing. So I don't think they're going to go any faster. I think the markets have priced in the Fed. Now, normally, this would suggest that the dollar's rally is on its final legs. Uh, however, I don't think that's the case this time because you know, the markets are in turmoil. Everyone is talking about uh, a slowdown in global growth or even a recession. That means there's a lot of safe haven demand for the dollar. And more importantly, there is nothing else right now. The dollar is really the, the only game in town. Not because the, the American economy is so exceptional, but because every other region is struggling. Europe is flirting with a recession. It's going to have a very difficult time avoiding one. And China is locking down uh, right now. It's, you know, major cities are in lockdown. So, uh, you know, until the outlook for, uh, for growth in the rest of the world starts to improve, it's very difficult to argue against uh, the almighty dollar. Marius, thanks so much. And thanks for joining us at XM.com.